Very good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Jain, for a brief introduction. Uh, my name is Jagat Choksi. I'm the managing director of Sylvan Additives Private Limited. Today, I'm going to talk about the latest innovation in additives for PVC and CPVC pipe manufacturing. Before moving into my main topic, I'll just quickly go through the magical journey of Sylvin, what we do, what we have done till now, and what are the next plans in next five years. So uh, everyone says that after Sylvin come into the vinyl industry as a innovator and became a very popular brand in in a span of last 10 years, the core objective behind creating uh, this type of company was that we really took additives very seriously. So we always say that, that we are taking additives to the next level. So this is our Selvin's quick journey. I'll talk about it. Uh, my father has started this organization in 1985. We've always been focused on innovative products. So we started with PVC compounding in 84 and methylene stabilizer introduced at that point of time uh, in medical industry. And we were focused on medical industry since then because of the uh, demand of the innovative product continuously in the industry. Later on, we came up and diversified into PVC tubes. And then also we started developing HDP compounds uh, for PVC films. And later on, so and so forth, we also focused on blood bag compounds, IV set compounds, and so on. Until 2011, my father was, start, uh, was handling by himself. And then me and my elder brother joined the organization. And that point of time, we identified that the CPVC is something which was really in huge shortage and the technology of CPVC compounding was not available. All the MNC players were uh, ruling that market. So we come so, up... Uh, good afternoon, dear all. Uh, I must say that I'm actually thrilled and amazed about this, uh, this meeting. Um, surprising. It's my first time here in Pineal India and I'm really surprised about the, uh, the attendance and the quality of the speeches. Let me present uh, Reagence. Reagence is a private-owned company with global presence. Our core business is uh, the development and supply of stabilizers to the PVC downstream businesses, focused mainly in sustainability and technical service. Uh, for this reason, uh, Reagence has the broadest port uh, portfolio uh, of products manufactured go uh, global worldwide. Uh, more than 50% of our workforce is devoted to technical service and development. Reagence Group has a global presence uh, worldwide. We have plants in uh, Europe, America, and the last plant uh, to uh, join to the group in India. Now we are going to talk about OPVC. It's the topic of the day. We have had the, um, the previous uh, uh, session. Uh, I'm not going to add much more things. Uh, when I first heard in 2007 out about OPVC pipes, I immediately fell in love with the product. The outstanding mechanical properties, the reduction of material and the recyclability uh, makes uh, these pipes uh, an interesting, extremely interesting uh, uh, product. Uh, for this reason, we are experiencing a big growth of, the, of this technology, not only for water and for agriculture, but uh, also for uh, gas distribution, for hydrogen, or even for sewer pipes. Thank you very much, Pushpji, for the introduction. 
and uh, good afternoon to all of you. So all of us who have gathered here are part of a PVC, vinyl, uh, PVC value chain. Some of us are resin manufacturers, some of us are additive manufacturers, some of us are PVC product manufacturers, maybe machinery manufacturers, maybe in distribution business. But we are all connected with the PVC value chain, isn't it? And that's why we are all here. We all come to such conferences and then we talk about nice things about PVC and uh, the sustainability and we all agree on each, uh, with uh, each other. We clap, we are happy and then we go home. But you can see when you go to the market, there are many products which you can see here which proclaim to be PVC free when they want to give an impression that their products are sustainable. This is, this is the reality. So the question is, whatever we are saying in such conferences, do the people from the user industry, whether be it from uh, housing and construction, uh, irrigation, water supply, uh, even electrical contractors are, who are using um, wires and cables, whether they agree or not. And we must admit that those people, they are not in love with PVC. Uh, for that matter, they are not in love with any product or any material. They are going to use that material which is going to satisfy the functional requirements, which is going to be economical, which is going to be safe, which is going to be sustainable. And it is our responsibility, it is our collective responsibility to prove to them that our products meet all these requirements. It is also our responsibility to prove that, it's, it's a myth actually, it is to bust the myth that if you go for sustainable products, then they're expensive. The introduction, it's indeed a pleasure. In fact, I would like to thank Nidhi for this lovely platform. Just to quote, I must say, what you're doing for all of us, bringing us all together is commendable. I must say, Nidhi, this industry loves you. Is Nidhi around? No, no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. Every journey starts with a story. And Platinum is one such example of growth, perseverance, hardships, struggles. I take pride in saying that Platinum has made it to the industry. In every person's life, there is that one pivotal moment that changes the fortune. I am sure that this is the case with every one of us present here. One such moment for Platinum was the collaboration with Dr. Michael Schiller his experience and knowledge in the field of lead-free editors were a strategic driving force for Platinum. To set up its first ever manufacturing facility in India well before the regulatory shift. And so when the Gazette of India announced the ban on the lead-based editors, we were not just prepared, we were positioned to lead the change. This enabled us to scale rapidly expand ourselves into the international markets and set up operations in Egypt, which is in North of Africa. What began as a product-led collaboration evolved as a transformational chapter for us, leading to the successful listing of Platinum Industries on National Stock Exchange and Bombay Stock Exchange last year. What has driven Platinum to stand out in this industry is the innovation, adaptability to change, and a customer-centric approach. In the past few years, we have developed a remarkable products like calcium zinc stabilizers for PVC and CPVC pipes and industries, calcium organic stabilizers for OPVC pipes, and CPVC Unipack, which is all-in-one smart pack solution for CPVC pipe and fittings. I would now like to share a glimpse of our journey through this short video. Good afternoon, everyone. So it's my pleasure to present an overview of a CPVC. 
so CPVC, as we know, it's a high-performance thermoplastic with remarkable applications across various industries. So just as an introduction, <clears throat> what is CPVC? So CPVC is a, a thermoplastic which is produced by chlorinating PVC resin. So this additional chlorine content, it enhances its properties, making it more resistant to heat, corrosion, and chemical degradation. So these are some of the uh, basic characteristics of CPVC. The, one of the important characteristics is LOI of 60. So LOI of 60 allows the CPVC, the characteristics of self-extinguishing and low smoke emission. So this makes it suitable for the applications of fire sprinkler systems. So if we look at the market uh, scenario, in India, the total estimated market size is around 250 kT. And we have a CAGR projected of 10% up to 2030. The global market is also growing for CPVC uh, with uh, around Asia Pacific, which is the highest market, which is growing at 45%, while North America is growing at 30%, and Europe around 15%. This is the uh, data of CPVC resin capacity available in India. This is uh, pick, picked up from the Gazette of India. Uh, India still relies on imported CPVC resin and special additives. The demand is growing rapidly for the applications like plumbing, fire sprinkler, and industrial applications. So total install capacity along with uh, the projected growth it should be sufficient to make India self-reliant in coming years. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, esteemed presenters on the panel and the organizers of this 12th uh, Vinyl India conference, thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to talk to you today about some formulating changes to address some of the common problems which may occur when processing OPVC pipe. Before I continue, though, uh, we continue though, um, allow me a moment to introduce to you the company that I work for. So Sunna started in 1940 as a family business spe selling specialty chemicals. And in the last 85 years, Sunna has grown to a truly global company operating in 12 different countries around the world. In case you were wondering, Sunrise does have a sales operation in New Delhi in uh, India as well. The main focus for Sunrise is uh, designing, manufacturing and selling PVC heat stabilizers for all types of PVC applications, both um, rigid and flexible. Sunrise also sells a range of metallic soaps which go into a number of industries, including cosmetic, food, medical, and pharmaceutical. And then Sunrise also manufactures some specialty chemicals which are tailor-made for specific operations, or specific, um, yeah. All right, so a lot has been said today about OPVC pipes, but by way of recap, OPVC pipe is becoming very popular worldwide, and indeed in India as well with more and more manufacturing capability coming online. The reason for this is that the thin wall thickness allow pipes that are very light and medium to even some of the larger diameter pipes can actually be handled on hand by site. The pipe is also very tough and it can handle the uh, rigors of installation quite well. It's got a high resistance to point loads. So a point load is for instance, if you have a little stone pressing against the pipe during operation, this creates a, a, a point load. And OPVC pipes, due to their orientation, are well equipped to handle this. Cool.
Jagat ji, we'll have a new advertisement of yours with cricket for the next final. Thank you. Mr. Rafael Aero, the business head for pipe and fitting segment, Regions SPA. Thank you, Mr. Aero. It was your first time. Hope we continue seeing you in the next finals. Mr. Rajiv Mahendale, the co-founder and director of Gold Stab Organics Private Limited. Rajiv ji has a smile because the daughter is now into business. Excellent there. Could we first have Mr. Krishna Rana, the chairman and managing director of Platinum Industries Limited, come forward? Krishna ji, thank you very much. We learn a thing or two from your company about marketing. Continue to do so. Thank you. And Mr. Milan Magar, the business head for CPVC division from Platinum Industries Limited. Milan ji, thank you very much. Excellent presentation. And Mr. Rainier Snyman, the technical manager for Sun A's South Africa. Thank you, Mr. Sunman. It's always a pleasure to welcome you to Vinal. May I request Mr. Kasababuru Khatiade to please come forward and hand over our session chair his memento, please. Thank you, Mr. Kitabe. Appreciate that a lot. This group picture is a powerful good picture of the industry. Excellent there. So ladies and gentlemen, a small tweak. Uh, we are not gonna break for tea and coffee right now. We will continue with the next session, which is going to